So what we want to measure now is a thing what we call shelf clearance. The shelf inside the compressor in part of the frame, it's part of the casting, is the dividing point between the high and low pressure. The blade is going inside the rotor and um, we, this area here is at suction pressure. So if we have a lot of gap in there, there's more chance of discharge gas returning back into the suction, which is an inefficiency in the compressor. If we have it too tight, the blade is actually touching the shelf, which will wear the blade. We don't want that. We want a minimum clearance, okay? So, I'm going to measure that with a feeler gauge, okay? And you can see my feeler gauge has a few little clips on the end. You have to be careful when we take this measurement that we're not dragging this feeler gauge inside into the rotor and having the rotor and the blade shear this off. Okay, so we don't want that piece that we have to sh fish out of the inside of the compressor. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to measure this clearance under here. I'm going to take my little feeler gauge and I'm going to push it and I'm going to turn the rotor by hand. And I'm going to pull this in with it a little bit. Just a little, just a little bit. A little bit of drag there. Okay. I've measured that's this is three thousandths of an inch. Okay. If this pulled out really easily or there was no drag at all, then I have greater than three thousandths. If I can't get it in, it'd be less than three thousandths. Okay. So I can check the other side as well, and I can pull it pull it in a little bit. Is it, is it going to go in here? There we go. Just a little bit of drag. I've got three thousandths of an inch clearance. What does my chart say? I want for shelf clearance. It says three to four thousandths of an inch. So we're right on. I'll show you when we take the main, the gate rotor out, how that is adjusted. Okay? Because on a machine that is adjusted when it's new. You may have to adjust that if you put new blades in. Okay? A blade kit will give you new shims. So we can, we can check that when we take the gate rotor blade out.